Bless the Lord, warriors of God. Derek, we were praying for America and time spent with the word. We bless the Lord on this morning for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. All give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Let the people of God not say for he is good. Come on, somebody. And his mercy endures forever. That the mothers of the land, the fathers of the land, the children of the land now say, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Let the leaders of the nation now say, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Isaiah chapter number nine, verse four says, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod. Come on, somebody. The yoke needs to be broken. The yoke must be broken. The rod of the oppressors, my God, must be destroyed. Come on. The yoke of the oppressors, the burdens must be lifted on today. And those rods, those fiery darts that they have been sending against this nation and the inhabitants of this country must be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on today. Let's pray for America. Father, Sovereign Lord, King of kings and Lord of lords, great I am that I am. We come praying for America today. Yet, Father God, before we go into praying for America, I take authority from a third heaven rulership right now over every sickness, every disease, every virus, bacteria attack that would try to come against the bodies of your children, the bodies of your people. I curse it now and I return them back to sender. Hallelujah. Mission on un- accomplish my God and assignments canceled by the power and the blood and the angels of the Lord in Jesus Christ's name on today. Now God, <laughs> my, 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 my. Yeah. my Lord, Father, yes, when there is aches, aches and pains, I come against every pain right now and I break his hold. I come against every ache right now and I break his hold in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pain in the knee. I command you to loose your hold right now. Pinch nerve. I command you to loose your hold in a mighty name of Jesus. And I speak sweet sleep to the precious people of God. Now, Father, America needs a touch from you as a nation. And I'm asking you, Father God, to touch this land today. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, touch the land from the White House, God. We pray over our White House. Father God, we're asking that the angels of the Lord, the army sent from heaven, would take control of our White House, God, and cleanse it of all impurity and the righteousness. Exalt that White House in Jesus' name. We pray for our Supreme Court. And we are asking you, God, that the laws of heaven will line up, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus in accordance with God's perfect will when it comes to the Supreme Court ruling of the land. In Jesus' name, we pray right now over our Capitol building. Father God, the jackals, the foxes, God, the hen house, Father God, hallelujah, that have been allowed in that place. Father God, we speak right now that the army sent from heaven in Jesus' name will clean and cleanse the house of all impurity and we cover the Capitol building with the precious blood of Jesus and every son and daughter of God within that building, God, that is standing up for what is right and just in your sight. I'm asking you for the anointing of preservation over them right now. In Jesus Christ's name, I thank you that the Lord is our shepherd in this nation, we will not want. And as we go forth on today, goodness and mercy would accompany us in the powerful name of Jesus. Blessed we are in a city. Blessed we are in a field. Blessed when we come in and blessed when we go out. Blessed when we go out and blessed when we come in in the powerful name of Jesus Christ on today. I thank you that we will see the good hand of our God in the land of the living because of your grace and mercy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. 
pray. Amen. Warriors, we're going to go forth today. It is a fabulous day. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And it, it is a glorious day. Why? Because Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and he is Lord. My God, it is a miraculous day. Why? Because it is resurrection day. He is not here. He is risen, hallelujah, from the dead. And he is Lord. He is victorious over all of his enemies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, glory to God. In Jesus' name, I encourage you today to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God so that we will be able to stand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, let us, by his grace and mercy, continues to stand. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Until the next time, warriors, know this one thing. You are sealed, cover, protect protected, defended by the blood of Jesus. And we apply the blood even as we go out right now. And when the enemy sees the blood over us, over our children, the enemy has to pass over us. Amen. Until the next time. Shalom.